Hi hi to everybody, the Future Trend channel is again with you this morning, uh, 13th of uh, April 2018 and uh, probably um, the news number one today is uh, subsiding risk aversion fears uh, that's uh, driving at the moment such kind of currencies like uh, uh, first of all yen crosses uh, some higher as well as Swiss franc crosses um, receding uh, risk aversion fears, uh, rising risk appetite, rising uh, stock exchanges. All in all, at the moment, we see that uh, trade uh, confrontation between uh, uh, United States and its major trading partners um, are on the back front at the moment. And uh, from that point of view, uh, the United States dollar also received uh, a kind of small boost against the major currencies, especially against the euro at the moment. And uh, that's why probably the euro dollar is uh, at the moment a little bit lower than uh, uh, comparing to uh, previous trading, uh, pre previous trading uh, session. As regarding the nearest future, we'd like to pay your attention, of course, uh, regarding the Syria situation. Any kind of military strike uh, of uh, strikes uh, of such kind of countries like uh, United States, uh, England, or uh, UK, um, and um, France against the um, Syrian authorities, Syrian troops, of course, uh, will uh, dampen the risk appetite spreading all uh, around the globe at the moment and of course will lead to a rising risk aversion fears and more dramatic situation. At the moment, uh, uh, let's see the situation more closely, starting from the euro dollar. The euro dollar still, at the moment, it's trading around 23, 27. We'd like to pay your attention that uh, the short-term downtrend located at 24.40 continue to limit uh, the upside potential of the pair. Anyway, while uh, from a longer-term perspective, while we are trading above um, a longer-term uptrend line located at uh, 22.50 uh, as well as uh, 21.50, where is uh, the lower boundary of the existing trade channel in the euro dollar we still suggest that sooner or later the euro dollar will march higher probably also we'd like to pay your attention on the longer term downtrend located around 126 so all in all the highs of 2018 at 125 55 as well as 126 where lies uh, a longer term downtrend uh, um, pre represent a kind of a very important uh, resistance barrier at the moment for the euro dollar and for its future bullishness. Of course, a lot of will depend on the future policy of European Central Bank, on the future situation with inflation in uh, in Europe with economic indicators as well as well, uh, and also a lot of will depend on the geopolitical worries in uh, Syria uh, and the uh, trading policy of. Uh, United States to, and uh, trading policy of United States with its uh, major trading partners. The dollar yen, which is 107.58 at the moment, should continue um, to be, uh, from a longer term point of view, to be under the downside pressure while trading below um, critically important resistance barrier 107.90. That's why we still keep our short trade recommendation will increase position at 107.90 with a stop above 108.05. The cable is probably number one from a point of view of current bullishness at the moment. As you can see, the cable 142.40 and the next upside barrier is a uh, highs of 2018 around 143.45. And from that point of view, uh, the subsequent closing above this level should produce a kind of another much higher in the cable. So we'd like to pay your attention on the continuous bullishness in the cable right now. Any kind of uh, down tick to 139.80 where is um, a longer term uptrend line as well as 140 where is... Uh, psychologically important support barrier should find 
kind of strong buying interest in the pair. The dollar Swiss, which buoyed at the moment because of rising risk aversion, fear, uh, because of rise, uh, rising risk appetite, situation in the financial markets should remain uh, should remain supported while trading uh, above its uh, short term uh, uptrend line located at 95.55. Anyway, to the upside, we mentioned of uh, stronger resistance barrier around 96.55 uh, where lies moving average 200 daily line and also don't forget about the Syrian situation and the prob uh, prob uh, probable um, kind of military strikes against the Syria uh, during the coming weekend For, so from that point of view we don't expect a kind of um, another impulse higher uh, from uh, the dollar Swiss right now, especially ahead of the <coughs> unclear weekend events. At the moment, that's all. We'd like uh, to wish you a pleasant day ahead as well as uh, uh, a kind of peaceful uh, weekend. And also, we'd like to pay your attention that today is uh, 13th of Friday. Don't forget about this. At the moment, that's all. It was Future Trend Channel with you. Bye-bye for now.